message affirmation today. I am designed to give love. And again, we absolutely are. God made us with love. There is love in our hearts. You know, I was thinking of a great analogy earlier. We know a car was designed to travel, to go around. But if you just leave that in the garage and you never do anything with it, well, it's kind of pointless. So just like us, we have this love in our hearts. If we don't work to express that, if we aren't out there expressing that every day in every way, it's kind of a waste of this wonderful, wonderful thing that God gave us, which is love. We're all of love. We all begin of love. And certainly, this is a wonderful time to think of this when we think of Mother's Day because we do think of love and we think of a mother's love for their children and uh, how enduring that is. And we all the way from humans, and certainly we see it in nature, how uh, you know mothers are so protective of their cubs, mother bears and mother lions and, and everything. It's just a natural instinct to be protective of your offspring because they are designed to love. Love is in them. And of course, we as humans, we have the most advanced skills to be able to express that love. And so it's very important as we go through our our everyday life, not just on Mother's Day, but uh, you know, on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and every day of the week, every day of the year, to understand that we are designed to give love. That is what we're here for. And we know we read in the scriptures of all the things of faith, hope, and love. The most important of these is love. And he talks about love being the most important thing to give. And so we know that it's important to express love. And so as we sit and think about this, we know that it's important to express love, but we all have our daily lives because we talk so often about the fact that we are spiritual beings, but we live this human experience. And as humans, we sometimes find ourselves in circumstances and situations where we're just getting through life, surviving, and it doesn't always occur to us to stop and be this expression of love that we know that God wants us to be, that we know by following the way shower Jesus Christ is the wonderful thing that opens our lives and makes our lives so much richer and fuller and happier. So it's important to express love. And this is a great goal for the week because as we go through the week to think about what are the ways that I can express love? How do I express love? I know that I am designed to give love. What do I do to express love? So the goal for the week is knowing that you are filled with love, the God and still love. Every day, reach out and display the nurturing, loving mother in you. Go forth and be an expression of this love. And so in this is to think about the ways, what more can I do? How can I be an expression of love? Are there ways that I can reach out? And uh, of course, we can think of a lot of things we can do that, uh, you know, we can go and uh, take care of our neighbors and do all kinds of great things. But the reality is a lot of us, we have busy lives and there's things we do. We don't always have the opportunity to reach out and be uh, loving in all these wonderful, magnificent ways we hear. But there's so many things we can do. And we talk about this a lot. Just in your daily adventures, your daily adventures to the supermarket. Um, you know, if somebody cuts you off in line, let it go. Give them a smile. Uh, if you have an opportunity to give somebody a compliment, compliments go such a long way. And a lot of times we don't think about that. And uh, especially in our current society, a lot of times we might be suspicious. Why is this person complimenting me? What do they want? Is there some, you know, ulterior motive there? Uh, and so I think a lot of that goes to the wayside because people think that it may sound so shallow and hollow. But the reality is when you're the one receiving that, a lot of times we feel so good once we get on beyond the paranoia of what do they want. <laughs> but, you know, just in general, when it's just somebody there and you know that they have no benefit from it, it's nice just to receive a compliment. And that's an expression of love. And there's so many expressions of love that we can give to our fellow human beings, as well as to our, our family and, and the people in our inner core. Just like we know that our mother displayed love, because that's one of the most wonderful, remarkable uh, displays of love that there is in the world. Just as Barbara was saying, we know that there's uh, romantic love and there's great you know, romantic loves and novels and films about it for, you know, decades. But the love of a, for a mother for their child is such a wonderful, wonderful bond. It's such an incredible, strong, strong bond. And that, because we've received that from our mothers, we know then how to display this love. We know how to be an expression of love. Not that you're going to, you know, go out to eat and go cut everybody's meat up because that might be a little creepy. But there are wonderful expressions of love that we can do every day in every way. And a lot of times we don't think about it because we become so human in this existence 
that the fact that we're spiritual sometimes gets put on the back burner because we do have human lives to live. You know, I was just thinking that today because I was in this morning vacuuming and straightening up and, and doing all kinds of things because the pastoral staff and the board staff were all volunteers here. And so sometimes time is limited to do things. And of course we do it, it's an expression of love, it's a wonderful thing, but uh, we also have that human element. You know, we have to put a roof over our head and we have to eat and you know, pay for transportation, all those great things. So we have to work outside and we sometimes get so caught up in that that we forget to be an expression of love. And the reality is that we were all designed to give love. We were all designed to give love. And a lot of times when we think about that, we just think about, you know, oh, I, I love my children or, you know, my romantic love with my spouse or my love of parents. But we need to understand and reach out that the whole world is our family, and we need to be an expression of love in all ways. Earlier in our scripture lesson, this was from Matthew, and this scripture comes from, obviously, a much larger story where uh, the family of Jesus went looking for him, and they went, and he was in the temple, and he was uh, preaching in the temple, and somebody sent word, you know, your family's outside, they are looking for you, you know, they want to come and have you go home with them. And so this is where we get this scripture lesson, where he said, Behold, my mother and my brother, for whosoever shall do the will of the Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother, sister, and mother. <laughs> and a lot of times, people interpret this as Christ sort of rebuking his family, like, oh, they need to go away, I'm too busy. But the reality is, he was opening this up. He was saying to them, all of you out there, if you do the will of my Father, and we know the most of that is love, giving love, because we know that that was a big message of Christ, that God the Father wants us to be loving people. He wants us to reach out and be an expression of love. So Christ was saying in here, if you do the will of my Father, which is the heaven, then the same, all of you become the same as my brother and my sister and my mother. All of you become family-like because of this expression of love. We're all one great big family. So he wasn't rebuking his family. He was just including and saying, everybody is part of this process. Everybody is my family because we all love one another. And this is a wonderful example to follow. So again, as you go through the week, think about the ways. Think, no, first of all, absolutely. And I think we all do because we all read the scriptures. And obviously, we're all here. We all understand about love. And we know that we are made of love and that love is in our hearts because God placed it there right from the very beginning. So our goal is to see how can we be an expression of this love? How can we express more of this love to everyone around us? Because we know that when we do that, we receive love in return and we receive such gratification from doing loving, wonderful things. I doubt that anybody's ever reached out and helped somebody and then felt bad about it later. Even though, you know, oftentimes maybe the recipient doesn't show the gratitude they should or any number of things. But that doesn't change how you feel because you know you've done this wonderful, loving thing and you've reached out to others and you've been this expression of love that God has intended you to be because you were designed to give love. And I was designed to give love. We we're all designed to give love. So we need to be mindful of going forth and being an expression of that love. And that brings back to us so much because it just is a reflection of the wonderful, wonderful lives that we're meant to live. We're meant to have these lives of great happiness and great health and great prosperity in all things, in all things. And we bring this, we attract this into our lives by being expressions of love. So this week when you go out in every circumstance and situation you're in, think to yourself, am I being an expression of love? Could I say some kinder words? Could I do a kinder thing? Could I hold this door open? Or can I be this expression of love? Because we know we can be an expression of love, but more, what more can I do to express the love that's in me so that I am being uh, a good example of what Christ wanted us to be? Christ the way shower. We follow the way shower. We know that Christ, everything he did was based in love. Mm -hmm. Everything he did was based in love, and we know that Christ told us that everything that he did, we'll do, and more, and more. And so all of the wonderful things that Christ did, we can do, and we begin by expressing the love that is just naturally within us. When I was reading through some material preparing for today's message, I read this, our lives may be the only gospel people ever read which is an interesting thing. I'd never actually heard that before. We talk a lot about being a good example, and we know that that's a real base thing in new thought, that we're not a proselytizing faith. We don't you know, go out and be holy rollers and do things, that our lives are lives of example, and people say, wow, that guy always has such a great life. Why is that? How is that? And then they come to 
are, are New Thought churches. It's for unity and, and all the different wonderful New Thought churches out there because we are wonderful examples. And this is a wonderful way that encapsulates that, that your life may be the only gospel some people ever read. So by being an expression of love, you are being exactly that gospel that Christ is depicted in, all four of the gospels, all the gospels. By being this person, by expressing this love that's naturally within us, by being these expressions of love, because we're designed to give love, we are being the gospels. We are showing people the way just as Christ showed us the way. So this is very important. So as you go through the week, look at everything in every circumstance and situation, and how can you express this love that's just naturally in you? Don't be that old car that just stays parked in the garage and never goes anywhere, because that's just a big old waste. Express this love, because it's naturally within you. You are designed to love. We are all designed to love. So every day in every way, be an expression of this love that's in you. And we reap the reward so much. It comes back to us multi, multi, multi times over. And we find ourselves having these lives of great happiness and great health and great prosperity and everything by being an expression of love. And the good news is that we are all filled with love. God's love is the warm, compassionate love that waits in the depths of all of us. And it's not something that's reserved for only those of us who have obtained some sort of perfected godliness. A lot of times people get distracted and think, well, you know what, the, the, the leader of the church, they get to be the expression because they're so much more in touch. I don't have to do that. But it's all of us, all of us, and especially in New Thought because we call ourselves, we consider ourselves students because we're always learning, we're always growing. So one doesn't really know anything more than the other because we're all learning and growing. So we're all able to be these perfect expressions of God. So every day in every way, knowing that our lives may be the only gospel some people ever read, we can exemplify the teachings of the way shower Jesus Christ and make the world a better place. And what better news can that be? That you and I have the potential to make the world a better place simply by expressing what's already in us. It's already in us. We are designed to give love. So we just need to look uh, and see all the various ways that we can be an expression of the love that we are meant to, that we are designed to be giving out. And this, in turn, brings back all these rewards and treasures to us, and we have these lives of great happiness and great health and great prosperity every day in every way. So this week, if you have the opportunity to sit and reflect a bit, think about all the ways that you can be an expression of this love that you are designed to give. You don't even have to go out and create something or reinvent something. It's already there. God made you. He designed you to love. We just have to look for the ways that we can be an expression of this love within us. And if you get challenged, think back to all the loving gestures that your mother did, all the love that your mother gave you, and all the love that we see mothers all around us having giving their children. And those are wonderful ways to begin to see ourselves as an expression of love every day in every way. And even if your mother was a bit challenged, I was reading, uh, there was some... Uh, obviously very loving mother, but she was uh, so uh, upset because she'd go to church on Sundays and she'd look around and see the families with the, the children that were perfectly groomed and so nice and they'd sit quietly and be so perfect and, you know, her children were always running around screaming and their shoes didn't match, their socks didn't match. But she came to the understanding she was still a good, loving mother. So, you know what? These outward appearances aren't a reflection of a lack of love because the love is there. If you love your child, you're a good mother, even if you can't find the same matching shoes every day. You know, everybody's allowed to be different or kids want to wear their shirt backward. That's fine. But... Uh, it's all there. It's all there. So look around, look around. Mothers are a great example to look and see how we can be an expression of this love that we are designed to give. Hopefully everybody enjoys a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day celebration. Uh, and if our mothers have made their transition, certainly we have that opportunity to remember them with uh, love and kindness in our hearts. And in all ways, be a reflection of that love. Be a reflection of the motherly love that we have known and that we see all around us. And indeed, this will reflect back on us and we'll have lives of great happiness and great health and great prosperity every day in every way. And I'd like to invite you now to join me in prayer. Eternal and loving God, 
We thank you so much for having designed us to give love. We thank you for having instilled love in our hearts from the very moment we were conceived. We thank you, Lord, for letting us be an expression of love every day in every way. We thank you, Lord, for expressing your love to us every day in every way, for letting us have these wonderful, wonderful lives aimed to be filled with great happiness and great health and great prosperity. We thank you in the name of faith, hope, and most of all, love. Amen. Amen.